Hi there, today I want to talk with you about homework expectations. There are quite a few things that I want to talk about, but I'll try to be as brief as possible. First of all, I do not have homework over the weekends. If students or families ask me if they have homework over the weekends, what I usually tell them to do is enjoy their time outside, learn something new, and read something they might not ordinarily read. So homework really only happens between Monday and Thursday. Every day, Monday through Thursday, they are expected to do 20 minutes of read and respond. That changes in January after winter break. We switch that to 30 minutes read and respond. So basically that just means students are going to pick a book of their choice, read it out loud, silently, or a combination of both, and then have a family member sign. That can be a sibling, because I know that oftentimes students will read to a sibling and it's usually best if, if you and they put the title and your signature in their planner, just because it's less paperwork to carry around. That said, if for whatever reason they don't have their planner, I'm usually totally fine with them bringing in a separate sheet of paper with the signature on it. On Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we have Spiral Review Math. Usually it'll look like this. Oftentimes a double-sided paper, one side for second grade, one side for third grade. Students are more than willing to do the opposite grade side. If you're thinking my student is a really strong third grade mathematician, won't this be easy for them? My hope is that homework is really just a way of reviewing what we've been doing in class and kind of previewing what's to come. So it may very well be that if you have a strong mathematician or problem solver in your life that the homework will not take terribly long. And that's great because I really believe that students developmentally should be only doing about 10 minutes per grade. So as second graders and third graders, that translates to 20 to 30 minutes. They're already doing quite a lot of work in their read and respond time. So if math ever does take an inordinate amount of time, please call me. That's why I put my phone number on almost every single paper that I send home so that if there are any questions, you can give me a buzz. That said, don't belabor the point either. If for whatever reason your student's having a rough day, cut them a break. So again, spiral review is going to happen every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Sometimes if I don't have one of these copied, I'll send home a logic puzzle. Yep, it's going to look like that. I really like those because they teach flexible thinking and they're pretty fun. Tuesday's homework is going to be slightly different. Your student will bring home a folder like this. It'll be yellow this year. Um, and this is their letter to Miss Houghton folder. Here's one from last year. It'll eventually have letters from your students and then my writing back to them as well. Please do make sure that your students are taking home and bringing back these folders. It's really pretty nice at the end of the year, they'll have a record of our conversations the whole year through, and it's kind of a nice memento of the year to have. Beyond that, you really won't be getting a lot of homework from me. Sometimes if there's particularly important paperwork, I will assign that as the homework to make sure that you and your family have an opportunity to fill everything out. Students are expected to finish all of their classwork by the end of the week. That said, I don't expect them to bring gobs and gobs of classwork home. In fact, I prefer that they do most of their classwork in class because it really gives me an accurate picture of what they can do without any kind of family support or help. So types of classwork that would be appropriate to bring home would be things like drawing practice, which you'll, they'll receive every week, or handwriting practice that doesn't really need a lot of family input. Again, I can't emphasize enough that I really hope that homework is only 10 minutes per grade level. I've had families in the past ask me to provide extra homework worksheets, and I'm not really up for that. I would rather spend my extra time planning high-impact instructional opportunities for my students in class rather than making extra photocopies. So I would suggest if you and your family are looking for more learning opportunities outside of the school day, I have a whole bunch of links in the box below this video, but I recommend Zoopals, which you can get from Origo. I recommend Kakuma, which is a math game we use a lot in class. And if your student is a big workbook fan, my personal favorite are the Spectrum workbooks. They make them for all different subjects. I usually stick to the math one. 
Additionally, if you're interested in more research about children, especially elementary school children and homework, I have links to current research in the box below. To email me or call me if you have any questions.